Hello. I'm here with my friend, the rational rabbit, or the belief-based bunny. And our topic today is pumpkins. My narrowed topic is this particular pumpkin. I want to explore the topic of this bumpy pumpkin. I've never had a bumpy pumpkin before. I will use the knife of reason to go deep into the topic. My research question is, what is inside this bumpy pumpkin? Rabbit, you can't start with a belief or an opinion. You've got to start with a question. Then you need logic and evidence to answer the question. Logic and evidence. That's terrible logic. That's terrible logic. It's based on bad evidence. Brown cows don't give brown chocolate milk. That's terrible logic. Here's my logic to answer the research question. Pumpkins are in the squash family. Here's a squash, an acorn squash. Here's a butternut squash. Here's a pie pumpkin. All squash have seeds inside. Therefore, my bumpy pumpkin has probably has seeds inside. My possible answer, my possible answer to the research question is that this pumpkin has seeds inside. That will be my possible thesis. Now my thesis might change as I do my research, but for now, my possible thesis is that this pumpkin has seeds inside. That's terrible evidence. You just cherry picked the evidence. Don't do that. You can't just pick out the evidence that you like. You can't just pick out the evidence that fits your possible thesis. You have to look at all the evidence. Now here's my evidence so far. I am 61 years old. So that means in my life, I have probably cut into about 50 pumpkins. All of them had seeds inside. And none of them had carrots inside. Now that's a lot of evidence. 50 pumpkins is a lot of evidence. My possible thesis is getting stronger. But if I find carrots inside this pumpkin, I might change my thesis a little. My thesis might have to change with new evidence. The evidence always leads though. The evidence always leads. The evidence comes before the thesis, not after. Evidence is first. This is the hardest pumpkin I've ever encountered in my life. Maybe it is a different kind of pumpkin. Maybe it doesn't have seeds inside. Ugh. Okay, 
Let's open this pumpkin and see what's inside. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look what I see. Seeds, lots and lots of seeds. I'm sorry, little irrational rabbit. There are seeds inside of this bumpy pumpkin. Well, I'm sorry we didn't find any carrots in the pumpkins for you, but here's one for you. There's a place for belief and faith, but never confuse it with science. Okay, what did you learn from that silly little skit? Um, well, one, you should start with a research question, not a belief. Two, try to answer your research question using good logic. That will give you your possible thesis. Three, gather evidence. As you gather evidence, your thesis might change. That's okay. But four, the evidence always comes before the thesis. The evidence leads to the thesis, leads to your final thesis. I wish you good luck in researching your topic. Bye. Why does this bunny have horns or antlers? Well, this is a representation of um, mythological creature from North America. Um, my bunny is a combination of a jackrabbit and an antelope. This mythological creature or this creature from myth is called a jackalope. If you ever see a jackalope, you will be very lucky indeed.